So the very first thing we're going to discuss is exactly, Kristen, what is imposter syndrome? If you're not even sure exactly what I mean by that, um, imposter syndrome is basically feeling like a fraud. So feeling like you, you, you don't deserve to be a nurse or maybe like you're, you're trying to fill steps that you don't feel like you're good enough, right? So like it's, and it doesn't even have to do with nursing. It can be within any other profession and business. If you're like now like a CEO of a business and you worked your way up from being like the very first person all the way to a CEO, when you first have that position, you do kind of feel like a fraud because, you know, you feel like you're trying to be someone that maybe you just don't feel like you're good enough or, you know, you feel like you're a fraud. You're feeling like you're trying to be something that you don't maybe necessarily feel like is deserving quite yet. It's, it's new ground. It's an uncomfortable feeling. And a lot of that is due to just being inexperienced. A lot of that is just not having the experience yet. And it's just getting your feet wet. Hence being a new grad nurse, right? You're just beginning your career. So imposter syndrome, the number one thing I'm going to have six things I'm going to talk to you guys about. The number one thing I want you guys to know is it's very, very normal to feel this way, to feel the imposter syndrome. Everyone goes through it. I went through it whenever I was a new grad. I remember having my very first nursing job. And unfortunately for myself, it was probably during the worst time to be a new grad, which was during the 2020 COVID. Uh, I graduated in May of 2020. So when I was a new grad, I basically was a COVID nurse pretty much for a year and a half. And, um, it was very, very difficult. Like imposter syndrome was very, very real for me. I did not feel like I was a nurse. And I remember one shift in particular working, still felt like I was a student nurse because I went to one of my fellow nurses and was asking him about what we were doing. And they were like, well, you're, your, you're their nurse, Kristen. Like, so you make that determination of what you want to do. And it really hit me at that time. Like, yeah, I am that nurse. Like, wow, like, okay, I can do this. But even then I didn't feel like, I was there yet, right? Like I felt very unexperienced and that's very normal. Again, like I told you guys, as a new grad nurse, you don't have that experience yet. You're just getting started. So you have to start somewhere and it's okay to feel that you're not alone. There are many other people that feel the imposter syndrome. Everyone's been there, done that. Ask any nurse that's been a nurse for 20 years. They're going to tell you in the very beginning, they felt like they weren't good enough or that, you know, they probably should have been doing something different. And a lot of that, like I mentioned, guys, is inexperience. It's just, you don't have that experience yet. You don't feel that confidence yet, like that you can fulfill that role. So just know, number one, it's normal. We've all been there. We've all done that. So don't feel like you're the only one out there that feels this way, because you're not. Every nurse out there has gone through this. So don't feel like you're the only one. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed watching that clip and you want to see the full video to it, make sure you guys click the box here. If you enjoy watching these kind of videos and you want to see more videos from the Nurse Kristen YouTube for pre-nursing, nursing student, new grad nurses, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button over here.